Alright, I'm going to do a quick, hopefully quick, video on um, using UFPS, Ultimate FPS uh, from the Asset Store. I'm going to do, uh, try to do two arms uh, with a shotgun. And on the Asset Store there's one called Semi-Automatic Rifle. Um, it's a shotgun. So, I have these uh, loaded in uh, Unity. Um, so first thing you want to do for with it Unity, you want to look under UFPS Base Content Art Weapons Source. There's Basic Arms. There's one called Basic Arms Two. So we drag this into our scene. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this. I'm just going to call it um, Shotgun Arms. I'm going to delete this animation. If you keep the animation, it's going to straighten out the arms. going to drag this into my weapons folder to create myself a prefab. You're going to have to edit your material. So if you click on home under skin mesh render expand out this materials click on one um, you're going to want to change this to Reflective Bump Specular. The, if you scroll down a little bit, the Arm Diffuse, just drag that in. Drag the Normal in, and this cube map that I dragged in was the one from the Machine Gun Wood cube map. Uh, this Specular color, I copied it from the Arm and the same with the reflective color and then I just picked a blue um, 202, 205 and 255 just to get the color similar to the other arms uh, next thing you're going to want to do is get rid of this camera, you don't need it directional light, don't need it So I'm going to take this um, the shotgun, the semi-automatic, yeah, the shotgun. Um, I turn off animations because uh, you don't need them, and apply that. Um, this is the prefab. So if you pull the prefab into your scene, here, just pull it under your shotgun arms. So I changed the scale to 1.8. If yours has an animation on here, just delete it. And I changed the position to 0 0.26, 0 0.12, 0 0.98. You'll see that it's kind of lined up with the arm and it's kind of lined up with the fingers basically just move it around until you get it where you want it. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to look under this home. This is where all the um, um, the skeletons located. So my left shoulder I changed all these settings so change this to 0 0.089, negative 0 0.21, 0 0.496, and the rotation, change it to 38.95, 3.49, uh, 3.50. Then when you go down
down further with the elbow. I change the position to 0 0.045, Y is 0 0.216. And 0.775. The rotation is 317, 28, 28. So basically, you can see it's kind of rotating it. Now, if I go to the wrist. Um, just leave these top ones the same. The rotation, I change this to 11. So you'll watch here, you'll see it changes. 5 and 2. It kind of rotates it a little bit. The palm, let's see, I'm at wrist end. Just leave the top one the same. Change this rotation to 3.8, and 3.2, and 3.53. Then on the palm, leave the top the same. That's fine, that's fine, and this, the Z needs to change to 33.3. .3. It just kind of flattens out the palm, so it, it's holding it. All right, so on the right shoulder, go all the way down to the, let's try to zoom in so we can see this. So this would be, this would be what we're changing right here is the hand. So right shoulder, we go down to the thumb. So just keep going down. So you got right shoulder, elbow. So for the thumb, I change the rotation to 326.6, .6, 293. 21.2. Uh, right thumb 2, I changed it to 35, 330, 336. So you can see it just kind of wraps the thumb around a little bit. It's not perfect, but... Okay, now if we go to the fingers, I changed all the fingers to the Y to 315. Yep. So the Y on all these changed into 315. And the index finger, I made it 330. And then for the index finger 2, I change the rotation to 2.72, 340.7, So it kind of sticks out a little bit. All the other ones, I change the Y to 230. kind of pointed in and the um, trigger finger kind of sticks out a little bit. Alrighty, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to apply and I'm going to delete this guy. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go into your uh, prefabs. Okay. So if 
we go under UFPS content prefabs players um, I duplicated this advanced player called it advanced player 2 and I dragged it into the scene the clean scene um, I disabled this camera controller that's already there so if we look at this first thing I did was if you expand it look under FPS camera um, I duplicated the revolver and I named it five shotgun under rendering drag in your shotgun arms it'll say revolver just change it um, all the other settings stay the same I change these position springs to uh, negative 0 0.07, negative 0 0.34, and 0 0.38. I didn't change any of the other ones. And then you're going to need to go down here to your states. So right here under the zoom, it's going to say um, revolver zoom, weapon revolver zoom. So you just duplicate that, call it weapon shotgun zoom, and you just drag it right on top of it. Uh, open it up, edit it, and I changed the position offset to negative 0 0.25, negative 0 0.26, uh, 0 0.27. After that, you need to go to your at the top level, down to your inventory, change this to five, call it five shotgun, and then just copy this ammo clip into here. I just put 10 loaded with 25. All right, now if I hit play. We hit five. See, I've got my shotgun. Zoom in. Um, so basically, if you want to get these zoom settings, uh, what I do is I come over here to the five shotgun, and then under the position springs, I just kind of move these around to where it looks okay. And then down here to the states, you click here on zoom and then you adjust these to where you want you write the numbers down and then you plug these numbers into the state here and that's it you're done got a shotgun it's not perfect but that's how you have two-handed shotgun alrighty